What's going on guys, Triple M here. In today's video, I just wanted to walk you through the new NVIDIA Shield update that's available. Now, NVIDIA Shield just pushed an update. It is update 7.0, as you can see right here on the screen, but it is Android 8.0 Oreo, and this is a brand new operating system, guys. This is nothing like what you're used to on your NVIDIA Shield. So, of course, in today's video, what I wanted to do is just do a quick run through of the update. Just make sure that you guys have somewhere to look at it before you go ahead and pull the trigger on this. First, I wanted to show you guys how to get to the update if it doesn't pop up like this for you and also I wanted to go over the details of what's included in a new update what the new features are if it's worth updating and definitely looking forward to your input but whether you update or not so let's go ahead and jump into it So big shout out to my subscribers, anyone that's new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed as of yet, do a lot of cool videos on here, a lot of different ways to cut the cable cord, so I do a lot of Cody builds, a lot of APK reviews, IPTV, and the goal is to save you money and protect yourself while doing so. So hit that subscribe button in the top right, guys. Also hit that notification bell, that way when a new video is released, you will get a notification on your device. And also, if you guys are streaming, downloading, make sure you use a VPN to protect yourself, guys. Check the description of the two servers services that I use and recommend. So let me go back to the home screen. I just want to show you guys one what the interface looks like before that way we can do a comparison and also I wanted to show you guys how to get to the update if you aren't prompt when you boot up your system. So this is what your interface looks like that we're used to. These are our apps. But to get to the new update guys you're going to scroll down all the way to settings. Going to go down to about going to click on system upgrade check for upgrade and here we are so from here you can see that we have the option to download and uh, view details so let's view details we're just going to take a look at what the changes are so what's new brand new home screen all new entertainment is now in one place with android 8 oreo live tv video on demand streaming media and games all here and it's all fully customizable so pretty exciting to use a tv app repo to get your your apps on your home screen so favorite apps choose the apps in order select the button you can play next uh, continue where you left off with your TV shows, movies, and games, channels, um, discover new uh, layout for your channel. So apps and channels, guys, look like um, they put them all in one place, and it says there's a TV guide style layout. So basically, you have HBO, watch ESPN, Amazon Prime, put it all in one place, and it will look like this. So you can just pick the content that you want to watch. So pretty cool concept or layout, I should say. And scroll down a little bit. Amazon Prime gets a big update. Discover new shows has never been easier. Uh, Plex Media expands storage. Watch ESPN Sports. Look like they have the a lot of streaming channels on here. They have games as well. Other enhancements um, for gaming that is addressed in this update. Let's go back. We're gonna go ahead and download. And it looked like it's uh, the download size at least is a little bit over a gig. So what I'm going to do is just speed this video up and I'll come back when it's um, ready to install. Alright, so what's new? Let's take a moment to walk through the latest update to your device. So your home has channels, discover great content, always know what to play next. Meet your Google Assistant, so ask it questions, tell it to do things, to get started, press the mic button on your remote. Say it to play it, so ask it for your favorite songs, shows, music, and the latest blockbuster to enjoy. Alright, ask it anything, the weather. World of Entertainment or Google Play, of course, and we're all done. So uh, here we are, new interface. All right, so look like up top there's an update for the accessory, which is the remote. So let me click on details here. Might as well just go ahead and get that out of the way. So accessory update and continue. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this as well, and I'll come back when it's ready.
All right, so here we are in the main interface, guys. You can see it looks a lot different. So first things first, you do have the Google Assistant up top. You can just click on it. You can type what you want to say. So let's give it a shot. What is the World Cup scores? all right so you can see that's working with no issues same thing you can just hit the mic on your remote and it will do the same thing click to the right you have your keyboard you can click the type go over more you have your notifications look like um there's a notification to join the shield reward do have your settings up top now so if you get into it you can see you have your quick settings network system apps storage and reset date and time and all the other options that you expect from your settings we're going on to the next menu this is all our apps guys one thing you'll notice that we do have our um, third-party applications on here as well as your regular or should I say standard applications that came with the shield and this is big for a lot of people that's used to using the silo launcher as well as TV app repo to get the apps where you need them so to move them around all you have to do is do a long press click move and you can just slide it to where you need to to get to the apps that's not listed up here all you have to do is click on the apps and go down so for instance if I wanted to put show box all I have to do is do a long press add to favorites we can back on out and now we'll scroll over and you see that show box is right here so pretty big guys uh, another way to get to it is just hit the plus button right here and you can just add an application from there so HD streams bam and you're in there so I like the way out this looks guys so Further down, we do have Play Next, and this is just the two shows that I've been watching. You can see it kind of auto-populates it. That way, you can just pick back up where you left off. So pretty cool. You have recommendations, all right? So this is all from my Plex. You have Netflix. You have Featured. Different things here from Nvidia Games. Featured as well. This is your movies and TV. This is your music. You have Voodoo down here. And you can go ahead and customize the channels as well. So if I want to go down and let's say I wanted to remove Voodoo, I can just click on it, turn it off, and go back home. You can see that Voodoo is no longer here. So pretty cool, guys. And let's just try one of my streaming applications, see if we can get it up and running. We'll try uh, Terrarium TV. Alright, so it is loaded with no issues. Let's watch the Big Bang. Gonna go over the season. Just gonna pick a random season here. Doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna go over and we're gonna hit the play button. Or you can just hit the play button on your remote if you do have that option. Alright, let's just pick the first link and we'll just play. And it is buffering right now. And that's it. So that's it for this overview, guys. This is a uh, big in my opinion. I love the new layout. Uh, like I said, I want to know how you guys feel about it. It's easy to navigate, in my opinion, easy to find what you're looking for. And you do have a lot of uh, customization options. Uh, so definitely drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this. I want to know if you guys are experiencing any issues. Uh, one thing I did notice that when you go back to your applications or third party applications, it will ask you to enable access to that application. And once you get in there, you can go ahead and pick out the apps that's, um, that's currently turned off. And that way you can have access to to using that particular application so uh please remember to like share and subscribe hit that thumbs up of course uh, if you have any questions let me know thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one